one of the things that I did do uh, that I did not do before was I uh, placed the Moodle data folder in under www over here and that's probably not the best place for it because that is web accessible we can set it up so that it isn't but by default um, I don't want to leave that sitting in that web directory so we're going to place the Moodle data folder under the uh, var tag which is right here so the path to it is slash var slash Moodle data again we want to make sure still that the same read write abilities and that the uh, Apache program can now write to that directory and it still can. With that said uh, we are ready to access the uh, server, the web address to set it up. So we're going to open up another browser. There's my school district site. Now you don't need an HTTPS for this. This is straight HTTP so you can just if you wanted to clear this all out. I'm going to put in my address. Now if you do have a network administrator who's able to set you up with a domain name, you can do that. Uh, eventually if you're going to use this in a production environment, I would recommend that you do something like that. Okay, so I go in there. Now we still have this Moodle data folder here. and In fact, we can delete that out. Let me come back over here really fast. Let's delete that folder, hopefully. There we go. Okay, so that's deleted. Now let's refresh here. Okay, so now we have it fresh. Refresh system. Uh, we just had the Apache. If we click there, you'll see you'll get a default screen. And here we have Moodle. Let's go back here because it looks like it left us off. First thing that you are asked when you're installing Moodle is what language would you like to use as default? Now, they have all these languages here. That doesn't necessarily mean that you have it installed on your system. Uh, since this is for an English installation, we will use English. Now, Checking your PHP settings. Your server should pass all these tests to make Moodle run properly. PHP version, uh, session auto start. There is something here though called GD version. And we will next take a step over to get that installed properly again using the apt-get program.